hey welcome back to the channel this is Alfred and today we will be talking about counting pulses once again <laughs> so here, here's what's going on today we are doing something just a little bit different to maintain um, today we will actually be counting pulses from uh, one channel but we'll be using two pin to count the same signal um, pulse signal coming out from this pin pin number 10 so we'll be counting those pulses with two different pins and see how much of a difference those pins are seeing right then the second thing that we'll be doing different is i'm um, using uh, a c sharp program that uh, we built i haven't showed how i did it on the channel but i did it in the, i did it in the background we will use um, this C sharp program to keep record of the counting going on and also do some simple uh, mathematics on you know these two channels right so without further ado let's go and look well, at it we are keeping track of the number of time we run the test so in this case we run five times a number of time to run the test then the duration of counting the pulses we are doing um, 0 0.5 minutes so this each test will monitor the pulses for 0 0.5 minutes make sense all right so here is um, this particular column this is actually the total pulse count from channel number two I remember the picture we saw we saw a couple minutes ago then channel this column is keeping track of the total pulse count for pin number three and this is essentially the difference between pin number three minus pin number two that gives you how much difference those um, two pins are seeing in terms of counting the pulses coming out from the um, Arduino pin number 10 right so see that's really not the highest was one and the lowest was negative one and it looks like again you know this pin three gains a little bit more here and uh, it recovered here and also totally recovered in um, pin number five so again all these separate tests are isolated so none of them influences each other so but as you can say it's not quite you know much different you know it's really um really pretty cool then over here we are basically keeping track of our log so if you if i go all the way at the top of the log if i could go it <laughs> all right so let's go all the way so this is just application started and this uh doing no pulse counting application this application will monitor the pulses from digital pin 2 and three and compare total count so it's just gonna be giving you a log of it which this log is also saved uh, somewhere let me find it so this log is saved in a text file in, if you want to take a look at it um, in the future and you know you can still track it all time stamped and um, you know this is a comport this is time in microseconds this is um, pin number two and pin number three counts so yeah let's not let's not see how this c sharp program works um essentially here you go all right so essentially you want to select your comport in in my case my arduino comport is connected to pin number three and let's say let's say this time we want it to run 10 times and let's keep the same amount of time here 0.5 minutes and we'll just hit start
all right all right all right looks like we have uh, finished running our test let's take a look at the result the first one is zero difference second one is one different so this one is a low one count higher than this one so but you need to look at this look at the total count like this is 29,000 um, pulses counted um, 29,000 interrupts that this Arduino kept track of and for for each pin so here is only negative one zero differences this test number four was you know it did not miss a single count can you imagine that so this is only missed one um did missed one here again with a little bit one way too much for pin number three though so so as you can see um it looks like we only had two instances that it did not miss and then the others it was either missing or gaining one depending on how you look at it um so last time i ran it i had a couple more uh, time that it did not miss any so i had a couple zeros than this it looks like we only had you know two zeros here so this is to show you you know you know how much uh, indifference the two pins can keep track of the uh, 1k samples per seconds that the pin number 10 is generating so again this is the log we keep i did not I keep track of every single log from it and uh here's a here's this is essentially a, a graph showing on um, the total count for each channel so um this particular frame is showing the last test i should probably make it in a way that if i click here it will show me um the frame from this graph if i i'm, I'm saving the data so i have it so i can easily display it here so if i click here i will show the frame here so that might be a next project um, depending on how useful i think it will be uh, but i don't i don't think it will be that much useful than you know what i'm showing now so looks pretty good actually to be honest it looks pretty amazing let me know what you think in the comment section below all right guys thank you talk to you later